We begin tonight with alarming insight into the months before a local couple was found dead. Good evening, I'm Sydney Moore. Davie County deputies found Cynthia and Gregory Gobble. Investigators sent out an alert about Cynthia's disappearance yesterday. WFMY News 2's Nixon Norman joins us now after finding new information in court documents. That's right, Sydney. Isolation, volatility, and cyber stalking. Three allegations Cynthia Gobble said her husband Gregory Gobble was doing before they both went missing and were later found dead. It's all right here in these documents. Documents that also state Cynthia was in the process of legally separating herself from Gregory. Documents from the Davie County Courthouse show that the Gobble's marriage was coming to an end. Towards the end of March, Cynthia Gobble filed for a court-ordered legal separation from Gregory Gobble, a type of separation called divorce from bed and board. Court documents give insight into what led up to this. They say he attempted to isolate her from her family, particularly her daughter and grandchildren. He had a violent temper and could become volatile towards Cynthia on a frequent basis. The documents say his frequent violence and instability caused Cynthia emotional distress. It also mentions that sometime after getting married in 2012, Gregory moved into the home Cynthia's now deceased ex-husband owned and declined to work or contribute to living expenses. The documents go on to say he made Cynthia feel as if she had no legal remedies or ways out of the marriage and that she was, quote, stuck with him whether she wants to continue the marriage or not. One of the last reasons was that on or around March 31st of this year, Cynthia alleged Gregory of cyberstalking her by putting a tracking device on her car. The documents show she was still in the process of finding out who owned that tracking device, even going as far as having it fingerprinted. The court ruled that Cynthia was entitled to immediate and exclusive ownership of the home they shared on Country Lane for years. I also confirmed by a pastor that both Cynthia and Gregory were members at Ames Baptist in Moxville. Tonight, the congregation held a vigil in honor of them both. 